I'm a forester here and we're going to put this compact fluorescent light bulb to the test. I've had a couple of these uh, CFL bulbs go out and uh, in just in the last little bit and it just doesn't seem like they're lasting nearly as long as they're supposed to. They're supposed to last oh four or five sometimes six years and I think they're only lasting two or three years so they're so expensive I thought should I go back to the regular incandescent light bulbs or uh, stick with compact fluorescent? So we're going to put them to the test and see if they really are economical. Now I've got them hooked up to the battery. I tried to make this video a couple times last night, but the battery just wasn't holding enough of a charge for me to get through the video. So I've got it hooked up to the adapter right now and it's running off of AC, but I'll uh, disconnect it when I get to the point where I want to show the uh, the power that's being drawn out of the battery. I went to the store yesterday and I got a four pack of these GE Extra Soft White. These are 60 light bulbs, uh, 60 watt bulbs, and there's four of them in the pack. The whole pack, <coughs> excuse me, the whole pack costs two dollars, so each bulb is 50 cents. Now I'm going to compare that to this compact fluorescent light bulb it's a 15 watt bulb which I wish I had gotten just a little bit stronger bulb because it doesn't put out quite the light that the one that's in this lamp is putting out the one in the lamp is 23 watts so uh, this is supposed to last 8,000 hours and it's guaranteed for five years and it's, it's supposed to be the equivalent of a 60 watt bulb so we're going to compare these two and right now there's a 60 watt condescent bulb in the left lamp and there's a 23 watt compact fluorescent bulb in the right lamp and I think that they're putting out comparable amounts of, of light. The one on the right may be putting out just a little bit more light. Now I'm going to disconnect the battery and if you add it up it should be 60 plus 23 so 83 watts and I know it's not going to be quite that but let's see what it is okay the battery's saying that it's 70 watts so at least it's in the ballpark I'm going to plug it back up and uh, let's turn one lamp off and replace it with a compact fluorescent I'll let that bulb cool off just a little bit and when we check the battery again now it should be two compact fluorescents one that's 23 and one that's 15 so they should total whatever that is 38 I'm doing at least three things at the same time here so okay let's unplug the battery and see what the reading is well, it's jumping around between 15 and 20. So two compact fluorescents, let's just say it's 20 watts. So it's definitely pulling less current. Okay, now we're going to replace these two with two incandescent bulbs and see what they pull. And two 60 watt incandescent bulbs should be pulling somewhere around 120 watts and we'll verify that with this battery now the battery isn't the most accurate gauge on you know that I could use but it's the only thing I have and it's this difference in wattage that is really going to make the difference in whether you can justify the cost of paying more for these bulbs. Like I say, the one that I bought at Kroger yesterday, just that one bulb was $3.59 versus $0.50 cents for a light bulb, an incandescent light bulb. Okay, we're going to pull the plug here. Now these are two 60 watt incandescent bulbs now and they're pulling 110 watt hours from this battery so I think what we've done we just verified that 
that the energy savings in the amount of power that they use is uh, what they what they uh, call for. Now let's look at some numbers that I've run <clears throat> and I've done this on a simple sheet of paper no fancy calculations but what we're going to base this on is four hours per day on average and that comes from this pack uh, the compact fluorescent light package that the average is four hours per day use so that would be 1,460 hours per year and I got my electric bill out and on average I pay 13.2 cents uh, for each kilowatt hour okay so in a one year time period the 15 watt compact fluorescent bulb would use 21.9 kilowatt hours right here and in a year's time you would pay two dollars and eighty nine cents to operate for the electricity to operate that 15 watt bulb the 60 watt incandescent bulb would use 87.6 kilowatt hours per year that's one year four hours per day and it would cost eleven dollars and fifty six cents per year now I ran through an analysis that the compact fluorescent is guaranteed for five years but I said hey what if you actually had to buy two let's make a worst case and say they only last half as long as they're supposed to so two compact fluorescents would cost seven dollars and eighteen cents and you'd add up the energy cost for five years two compact fluorescents and you come to a total price of twenty one dollars and sixty three cents top rate compact fluorescence. Now we're going to say by some miracle maybe one incandescent bulb will last five years so you only pay 50 cents for your incandescent bulb but when you add up the energy cost and the cost of that bulb you come to fifty eight dollars and thirty cents. So the result is that by using the compact fluorescence even in a worst case situation where you have to replace it uh, after two and a half years you still have saved thirty six dollars and sixty seven cents by using a compact fluorescence that's not what I would have expected in fact on the package right here it says that you'll save thirty six dollars over a five year period of time using this compact fluorescent and to be honest I thought that was propaganda I was ready to go back to using I was ready to go back to using regular incandescent light bulbs but this has changed my mind so I think I'm going to be buying some more compact fluorescents well there you have it y'all have a good day